Hi everyone. We live in a deep learning era in computer vision where we all have access to end-to-end -end learning with universal algorithms. Yet, there is a, a zoology of deep architecture depending on the type of uh, data that you are using. When you care about plants, there is one type of data which is ubiquitous, which are the point clouds produced by LIDAR or fusion of RGB images. And it happens that some uh, architecture clearly meet uh, the, the, the structure of point clouds. And recently, uh, with uh, Elin and uh, Kaya in our group, we uh, perform a benchmark of uh, the different methods, uh, architecture for point clouds, and uh, demonstrated that PointNet++ was giving the, the best results. Yet it was tested on perfect data, and we, we could still wonder how robust it would be to, to noise. This is what we have uh, 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 undertaken in, uh, this, uh, in this study, where we started with clean data set from our paper from 2020, the ROSIX data set. And we spoiled uh, this data uh, by simulating the number of uh, views that we would take to reconstruct the, the 3D point cloud, and also adding some noise, uh, simulating the noise on the sensor itself. You can have a, 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 an intuition here of the impact of the, the number of views on the first row and the impact of the noise on the LIDAR on the second row here. And we investigated uh, the performance when we vary this amount of noise. Interestingly, PointNet++ is, uh, has much higher performance than uh, a comparative shallow learning method that we use here. It's not that surprising here. But more interestingly, PointNet++ is not more sensitive to noise than the shallow learning me method, which is a kind of a counterintuitive result, but yet interesting, meaning that you can use this uh, uh, method uh, even in presence of uh, noise, which is a, a good news somehow. That's it for me. Thanks for your attention and I'm ready for questions.